All right, so now we're going to start making some drawings out of this. So maybe we want to be able to print this out to take it into the shop to, to know how big we want to cut things or, or anything like that. So I want to I don't know how big things are. So I need some 2D drawings I would send out to the shop. So easy way. Um, you can only make drawings of components, not individual bodies. And so if I expand this out, I can see I have this top. I have that side as a component, the hinges as a component, and this door as a component. But all the other pieces of it are just bodies because I'm not going to make drawings of each individual piece. If I wanted to, this would be where I would go to do that. Um, same thing with the workbench. I just have everything as a body because I'm not going to do drawings of each individual piece. If I wanted to, if I had holes and things on a piece I needed to, to dimension, I'd need to make it into a component. So that way I could do that. So, all right. So I have three kinds of components. I have the, the main assembly, I have the top assembly, and I have that workbench. So we're just gonna start here, right click on it, and then create drawing. And it's gonna ask me, what do I want? Do I want to include just what I can see or everything that's in the list? I have a lot of stuff turned off. I don't wanna see that, I just wanna see the visible. And then where am I going to put it? I want to do a new drawing. The template, I'm just going to use from scratch. I could tell it to use a template. We'll talk about that later um, in another class. What standard I'm using for the template, the units, the, the sheet size, so 8.5 by 11, 11 by 17, so on and so forth. I'll just do a B size, it's kind of the go-to. Say OK. It's going to create a 2D sheet, and it's going to ask me where to put the stuff. So what do I want on, on this one? So for the forest full assembly, maybe I only want the isometric. Oops, not that one. No. Nope. There we go. Maybe I only want that isometric. And I can change the scale here. So under 20. If the, if the numbers are closer together, it's bigger. Maybe I'll put that there. And say OK. And looks like it's crossing off here because it looks like that door goes just. No, no, it goes right to it. Let me see. From there to there, a very small distance. So I'm actually going to pop that up a little bit. So I'm just going to push pull that. Pull up a 30 second. Save it. When I come back to the drawing, it's going to tell me that there's a change. Hit the little link button, and it's going to do the update. So I can bring that in here, and now I have this drawing. If I double click on that view again, I can change it to be shaded, and it's going to bring in all of my things. So I can do that, and there we go. So maybe this is my first ben my first page. You notice that the title comes from whatever the name of the file was, um, kind of the name of that component here. If I had a, gone in here and gone to properties and put in a part number, oh, where is it coming from the part number? Put that on. I'm just gonna put these other ones in. So let's see it here. It has a name and a number. So top cabs or number four five six top cabinets. And go to properties there. And this is bench assembly. All right, so I get that done. Save it. I can come back here. It's gonna ask me to update. Update it. And I didn't update that stuff. But I can click on it, and I can go in here and go in and modify this stuff. So. 
Now I want to do the next page. So I'm just going to save that. And now I want to do the drawing of the top cabinet. So right click, create drawing. My destination isn't going to be a new one. It's going to be part of that workbench drawing. And I want to make a new sheet out of it and say, okay. So now it brings this in. So now I can tell it that, hey, I want to do the top view. So I'm going to do the front view. Right side, there we go. That's the side I want. So I want it there, but I want it bigger. There you go, put it there, hit OK. Now I want a top view of it, so I'm going to use this projected view. Click here, I can drag up. Right click, OK. Maybe I need it, did need to be a little bit smaller. Or maybe I should just close that door. So I'm going to go to there. Wherever that closes, save that. Come back over here, refresh, and now that door is closed. Good. So now I can go in and do that. This view here doesn't give me a whole lot. I can go to the side and see that. I can also come up at an angle, and depending on which angle I go, I can get dis different isometrics. And you can make as many views as you want. And then they'll they'll be there. So let's see here I can see that this top view isn't really giving me much, so I'm just gonna click on it and delete. Maybe I like this one. I'm gonna make it smaller. So I'm just gonna tell it to be one to ten. And shaded. Only shade isometrics. Don't shade the multi views. Bring that inside there. Actually, maybe that'll come down here. And you can notice that as I move this view up, because that side view is attached to it, it's going to stay lined up. The program knows things are supposed to be stay lined up as, as you move them around. Um, from the top, I can't really, I could see that, but I couldn't see inside of it. Um, I could come on, drag this up, and I could do a view from the bottom. So now I can see where those shelves are. Or I can do a section view. So if I click a view and I can click and click through, right click, continue, and I can draw a section. And so we've talked about this before, what a section is in, in the 44 class. I can bring this up if it's apparent. I don't need to put that. Um, you can see I can open the door a little too much um, or close it a little too much, but it is what it is. I'm just kind of going over the basics of this right now. All right. Killed, knock that, knock that, knock this down a little bit. If I change that. You notice that it changes all of the views because this is the parent. Everything else is attached to it, except the isometrics. So, yeah, I'll put this here. There we go. So I can do that. I come back here. I forgot one thing. I can do. This tables, so I click tables and click there, and you can see it's a parts list. So it's going to list the different components that are included in that view. And if they have materials, it has that material listed. There we go. And it gives me part numbers. And that's because I have some that are here that are turned off. So I could go in. Uh, I change that. I guess I can. So this is one of the downsides of Fusion is if you have other components you, you have turned off, it's not going to let you edit that. So what it's doing is it's looking and seeing that I have 
these other components um, and keeping track of those. <clears throat> I can go back here again. Go right click on the workbench, create drawing. Oops, nope. I didn't want to create a new sheet, so don't click too fast. Create drawing, and then inside the workbench drawing. And maybe I need to. I want to turn this because if I come down from here, it's going to be that way. So I want to turn it a little bit. So pick on it, rotate. I can just kind of pick anywhere in the view. It's going to flip it up 90 degrees and make sure I hit OK. Hit OK. There we go. Now maybe make this bigger scale. Now I can make that projected view from it. And you can see I forgot to extend some stuff out when I was editing. So now I have the drawings. Um, I can decide, okay, I need to fix that. So come under here, figure out where that that is. Save it, and then update the drawings, and there you go, it got fixed. So this is kind of what we want to get to, uh, to be able to make drawings of, of things. So it has to be a component. Um, if I wanted to do this top without that leg, that leg would need to be another component, and then all this stuff would be, have to be another a component also. So kind of the layers of components really come out when you're trying to make drawings. So I get it all done. If I want to save it, I just do this output. I can output as a PDF, easiest thing. Or I can send as a drawing file that we could open in AutoCAD. Or we can do the individual sheets as GXF files that can kind of go to anyone that has any kind of 2D CAD or Illustrator or anything like that. Um, or to a, to a laser, whatever. Um, I'm just gonna do a PDF here, dot all sheets. Tell it to open up when it's done, hit OK. Tell it where to save it. And I'm just gonna get rid of that. And so now you can see I have this PDF with those three draw those three pages on it. So alright, um, that's the basics. Um, go for it.